зона – это очень сложная система ловушек, что ли. Все не смертельны. Я знаю, что здесь происходит в отсутствии человека. Но стоит тут появиться людям, как все здесь приходит в движение. Бывшие ловушки исчезают, появляются новые. Безопасные места становятся непроходимыми. that spent all its time checking that everything that it currently assumed still remained true before it generated an action. That would be the super proper, clear, intelligent way to behave on one understanding, but it would never do anything at all. It would spend all its time sitting there checking its assumptions. And that, of course, that wouldn't look like intelligence to us. It would actually look like a kind of cognitive deficit. Clark has come to the unexpected conclusion that an intelligent robot could never be the Spock-like, super-rational being of science fiction. Belief without total knowledge, far from being primitive, is the very thing that makes them and us smart. Any machine, any intelligent machine, will have to sometimes believe things on the basis of evidence that in itself is inadequate or insufficient. Otherwise, you would just never get anything done. If we built a machine that believed some things that didn't seem well-grounded to me, and I asked it about them, and it said, well, no, I just believe this, and it seems to be useful for finding my way around in the world, um, I would think, yeah, no, this looks more like an intelligent machine than anything that I've encountered so far. The fact that a machine will need to believe in order to act then raises the question whether, ultimately, belief in God would be part of its intelligence. I think that the, the, the notion of belief isn't far removed from the notion of faith. Any machine, any intelligent machine, will have to start somewhere. So I think that if we created something that we could recognize as intelligence, then it would have a strong tendency to believe in God. Simply too much to everything. Uh detail could no no end. Uh, you wrote it also generated fear. Yes. Why, for heaven's sake, were you making lists of almost everything in the world? Castles, knights, uh, popes, <laughs> anti-popes, <laughs> particularly <laughs> anti-popes. An attempt probably to master that fear, to say I can get it right. But what was the fear exactly? Because you don't have deep the in the subconscious, the control, there must have been deep in the subconscious the sense of otherness, that however well you try to study and understand the world, it will escape you. Mm -hmm. It will, that there will always be a strangeness. Now this is the late 1930s, before the word strangeness enters modern physics, before the word singularity, the black hole, enters but I had some intuitive sense that in life and in the substance of the world there was a strangeness which would always defy and even mock our attempts at understanding. What does Solaris want from us? Why do you think it has to want something? This is why you have to leave. If you keep thinking there's a solution, you'll die here. I'll figure it out. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? There are no answers. Only choices. The person who has been in the desert without electric lights and artificial lighting, especially during the nights of beginning of the lunar month, when the moon is not full, there is pitch darkness deep darkness which surrounds the human being. And when you create a campfire 
as the Bedouin Arabs did or the American Indians did. You have a flickering light that surrounds you immediately. But the light, as the flames go up and down, in a sense is punctuated by this vast darkness that is beyond it. And one feels how limited this little uh, glow is. Now that darkness should not only be taken in a negative way, it is a symbol of reality as invisible, as the unmanifested, therefore God's reality. Whereas the light here appears as the manifested, as that which we can see and we can feel. And anyone who's had this experience can see how this is a symbol of the vastness of the invisible world vis-a-vis -vis the visible world in which we live. Have we started the fire? Yes, the fire rises. I wish I understood you. Since we just met this morning, how could you possibly? Well, I won't be long. He wishes he understood me. What the hell are you? May I see you again? I don't mind. Doesn't it make any difference to you? No. You don't take me out, someone else will. <laughs> 